We use the CTKS method cheat sheet to decode financial markets. Decoding financial markets is really important. What are the markets telling us right now? They're telling us there's a degree of weakness inside the Russell and also a little bit of weakness inside the Dow. But the S&P 500 and especially the Nasdaq are going gangbusters. Apple, Tesla, Microsoft and Nvidia are doing quite well, whereas MicroStrategy has been hit recently because the entire crypto market has been pulling back. There's some divergence inside the market. We have a very strong DXY, but yet the US 2 and the US 10 year are quite weak. We're also noticing that US oil is very strong at the current time. Gold, silver and copper have all been retracing. We know that all prices move between CTKS, structural resistance and structural support. Right at this current time, we've got resistance incoming on US oil, the US2, gold, the SP, uh, SPX, which is the S&P 500, Apple, Tesla, Microsoft, Bitcoin, Ethereum, Litecoin and XRP. Structural support is incoming on dollar yen, the 10 year the euro dollar copper and the russell 2000 index if you like this kind of content please smash that like button and don't forget to subscribe we're seeing negative air gaps in the aussie dollar the dow bitcoin micro strategy and bitcoin cash what this means is that we could see some very adverse moves to the downside if markets head that way but we're also seeing, and this is quite contradictory, we're seeing positive fresh air gaps on total crypto market cap, ADA, Solana and Doge. If you would like to keep your eyes on anything in particular, the structural levels on Doge, BNB and ADA are quite interesting. We can see in the past 24 hours, total crypto market cap has gone from a negative 30 day percent price change to a positive one. It's also moved from the negative path to the neutral path. We've seen Ethereum move up in terms of power. We've also seen BNB move up to the positive price path, but however, Litecoin has moved down. Some economic data that you're likely to keep your eye on because it's going to be important in the coming week. There is a strengthening expected in the Empire State Manufacturing Index, retail sales month on month, industrial production and building permits. They expect the core retail sales month on month will be flat and it is expected that a weakening in unemployment claims, which means the underlying economy is quite strong, but also the flash manufacturing PMI and the flash services PMI are expected to weaken, as are existing home sales. The best performers in the crypto market in the past 24 hours were Brett, Jasmine, Whiff, Pendle, Jup, TIA, Render, Maker and LDO. The worst performers were AKT, Knot, Injective, Chilies, Rose, CRO, Ondo, IMX, STX, OKB, RON and Axie Infinity. Crypto is creating a degree of strength and you can see that in Total and ETH and BNB at the current time. Just tracking 24 hour liquidations, we can see in the past 24 hours, 50.32 million in total liquidations. The vast majority were short liquidations and that's forcing the market up. That's why we're getting these kinds of positive move movements inside the crypto market. And we're seeing greater liquidations than we saw yesterday. Of course, being the weekend, we expect lower levels of liquidations. And you can see what it was like on Friday and Thursday. The liquidations were quite large compared to the weekend. So far, the Bitcoin ETFs have been negative for the past two days, positive in the third and the two days before that they were negative. When we search Google for Bitcoin as a global search term, we can notice that the actual numbers of the search just keep on changing day to day. Google must be rewriting its algorithm. And if you're doing the cheat sheet, you already know this. But the concept is we're seeing a very little interest manifesting globally in Bitcoin at the current time. And that is despite the fact that crypto fear and greed is currently 71, which is in greed. It's been come, it came down in the last 24 hours from 74 to 71. But as a whole, crypto fear and greed has been very positive. But when it comes to the main market, 
everybody is in fear. Registering a 38, it's almost to the point of extreme fear. But as you can see, the S&P 500 and the NASDAQ are really doing well. It's the Russell and the Dow that's got people concerned. Okay, let's look into the structural levels. For the crypto market to go positive, we must get above this $2.39 trillion mark. You can see it's acting as a resistance level currently, but we're starting to see some good follow through. If we can reconfirm this $2.38 trillion structural support level as support, that will give us impetus to go through that $2.39 trillion mark. And of course, that is really good for not only Bitcoin, but all the alts. But we've not confirmed it yet. It's just being rejected at the current time. And this chart is on a one hour basis. The major issue that we're going to have is to do with Bitcoin. We can see that we were coming up from that 66.117 mark to try to get through the 68.846 and 67,000 structural resistance levels. We've not managed to do that yet and that's impacting total crypto market cap. Remember how to read one chart, you must read many. And we can see currently that Bitcoin in the past 30 days is down just a little over a half a percent. Across most of the weekend, we saw crypto just consolidating just at or just below, as is the case with Ethereum, below structural resistance, this 3564. But we've seen some positive momentum inside ETH, but we must overcome this 3647 structural resistance level. And across the past 30 days, Ethereum has come up 17.25%. In order for Ethereum to go bullish, it needs to convert this 3647 structural level of resistance into structural support. Typically, the way it does that is to come up, retest it, and resume upwards. If it can't confirm it as support, it will be making its way down to 3564. The thing to always bear in mind, if Bitcoin is coming down, no alt can escape Bitcoin's gravity. They're going to come down. But what we can see right now is Ethereum is starting to rebound, but we know it's hit a structural resistance level. We're also seeing XRP doing a little bit of a good retracement. ADA has some potential because it's got a positive fresh air gap. It could move up very quickly. And we can also see Solana is putting in a pretty good shake, as Solana tends to do. But just be aware that Ethereum, well, Solana is supposed to be an Ethereum killer. When we saw ETH just rally, we also saw the price of Solana was suppressed. So this is something that you might just want to bear in mind. Solana is a fantastic project, but if a lot of attention gets put into ETH, that's a less attention for Solana just at the current time. But that could be a very good buying opportunity because Solana is likely to get its own ETF going forward. The most important thing to do is just to keep your eyes on the structural levels inside Bitcoin. They will literally control the entire crypto market because you can see here, if Bitcoin is going up, it's going to rise up on all of the alts. This is very important behavior. And when things start to turn around, when all of the longs have been liquidated and the shorts start getting liquidated, as we've seen from the cheat sheet, You'll get this kind of price behavior in the alts first. The alts always feel price action first. This version of the CTKS Method cheat sheet is available from the service on ctksmethod.org. And there's a video inside the service which helps you to fill out the cheat sheet and to understand what's going on as well as including the links that you can do all of this good stuff with. Inside the service, I also share the source code of this particular cheat sheet. If you want to brand it as your own, please just pop your name into the free section and you're very welcome to publish it on social media. But of course, it's your analysis. My analysis and your analysis could well be very different. And this comes down to a lot when the cheat sheet is actually done and what time zone you're in. 
And to those filling out the cheat sheet, you can see across the weekend, I've left the main markets just to do what they've done. I've shown that on Friday, the Dow moved from positive back to neutral and the Nasdaq moved from positive to very strong positive. The analysis to bear in mind, what you're seeing is the Forex pairs are a little bit out of whack with the yields at the current time. There's also a lot of main market fear because the Russell is weakening, but crypto is starting to turn around, which may say that the Russell is on its way to finding structural support. Please let me know in the comments, do you like this kind of analysis? Would you like to see more of it? Have a great day or night ahead, my friends, and Kate and I look forward to catching up with you again in the next video. Bye for now.